All right, welcome back to Chat Room. This is Michael here. I'm with my co-host. John. And today we're going to talk about five different fields and the best job, basically, salary-wise. Now, this is with a degree. We've covered kind of the best jobs you can get without a degree, but this is with a degree. So that's an important distinction. And I am pulling this information from Indeed, which is, you know, all about jobs. So hopefully they know their stuff. Uh, but we're going to start with healthcare. This is the first field, and obviously healthcare like makes a lot of money, uh, but this one kind of surprised me. They're saying nuclear engineer is the top kind of best salary in a healthcare field. And I know you're thinking nuclear. It's like, what? Well, apparently the argument for why is nuclear engineers study the use and properties of radioactive material to determine its ideal uses for development in medicine treatment. Yeah, so you think, you know, radiology, of course, that's important, it uses radium. What are they? What are they making? Good question. Ninety-three thousand per year, national average salary. So not too shabby. Yeah, I mean, you got to figure if that's the average. Somebody out there is doing much better, and I doubt many are doing much worse. Anytime you're handling handling material like that, I hope you're getting paid well for your trouble. Yeah, is that a like a four year degree? Uh, yeah. So that is the educational requirement is a bachelor of science in nuclear engineering. Oh, okay. I was about to say that. I'm pretty sure surgeons clock in like double that, but they do go to school for like double that. So, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'll real fast, we don't have to dwell, but I'll real fast mention kind of the other four, and this is descending salary order. So some of these you'll know have had doctorates. So speech pathologist, physical therapist, often needs a doctor, registered nurse, and then medical services manager, also known as a hospital administrator. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're talking pretty high, high numbers. All right. The next field, though, is education, and notoriously education, a little less salary on the top end unless you're in the administration and i don't know if they're quite using that but uh the number one school social worker and if you don't know what a social worker is they help students and families often with challenges or trauma kind of assess students help with counseling for their needs so on and so on and that requires a bachelor of science in social work and they make about 59000 to 60000 a year on average. Not bad. Definitely a drop from, I don't know, nuclear or anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Followed very closely behind that, we have education director, ESL teacher, which is a second language, a teacher, and then a school counsel. Yeah, any, any of that surprise you so far? I'm surprised a little bit that principal wasn't on there. I think education director is... Oh, okay. I don't know if principal's no longer in vogue, but I feel like education director is their catch-all yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, even that, though, the salary is just a little less than a school social worker. So I said 59 to 60 for that, and for this, it's 59000 on average, so... Just a thousand less, but... No, on the education part, it seems about right. Yeah, I know this next one uh, is going to interest you because you are a man all about business, <laughs> and this field is business. So, number five, no surprise at all. It's probably the position that makes way more money than maybe anybody should. That's the CEO. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta love CEOs, man. Yeah. So, of course, this requires a bachelor's or often a master's degree in business administration or related field. And there was a good kind of report I read basically on how CEOs salaries are outpacing almost everybody else's. So I think this is a real low bar for this national average, but they're saying it's 113,000. Yeah. As, as you well know, some of them are well in the millions. <laughs> some of them are billion. Yeah. And if somehow you don't know what a CEO is, that's the chief executive officer who oversees most aspects of the business from management to budgeting. The owner's well-trusted man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the board. You know, oftentimes a lot of the big ones answer to a board. Yeah. But yep, you know, goals for for many people, yeah. I would imagine. And I think CEO is, you know, one of those, or not a degree, but one of those jobs where you either were part of the startup of the company, you've either put in your time with the company, or you know somebody. Yeah, I mean, there's, that's pretty much like the only three ways you get a CEO position. Yeah, yeah, and even even kind of knowing somebody, a lot of what I see, you know, if you see like somebody brought in to really transform a company, it's because they've got a rep from somewhere else where they've got like proven success. Right. So yeah, it's kind of a splashy deal. Place gets a new. Deal. So breaking down the ones just below it, economist, uh, sales manager, uh, basically hire 
trained sales team, marketing manager, so woot woot, uh, and then finance manager, uh, which is yeah, all all very important position. So that's who Joe talks to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like a pyramid. Yeah, pyramid, hopefully not a pyramid scheme, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, this one, you know, relevant, it's the world you've come through, John, and that is building and design. The number one for this, making 95900 plus a year, is mechanical engineer. Nice. I mean, you pretty much guessed it was going to be an oh, engineer, yeah. Isaac. That title just seems that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, and this is one where, you know, we talked about the kind of uh, courses you take in high school and stuff. And we're like, yeah, hey, you know, you need some math, but who needs all this math? Oh, these, yeah. these people need all this math. Oh, yeah. That's why they get a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and mechanical engineering technology. If they have that option or can get it in science and math and they go on to post-grad uh, to make all the dough. And if you don't know, they do all kinds of things. They can work with everything from thermal mechanical devices, design, building, testing, uh, design systems to improve how things work and prototypes and oversee all of that. Yeah. So, yeah. And if anybody's interested in being an engineer, be ready to take some math classes because I'm pretty sure those are like in the prereqs, like a lot of math. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I went into like a light science for mine with like climate kind of studies and I was still having to do like all this calculus. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, you, you need to eat more here. Uh, which, you know, the good news is if you don't end up going that route right after that is electrical engineer, mm -hmm. construction manager. We've talked about how construction has a lot of opportunity for good jobs. Mm -hmm. Similarly, architectural engineer, very married to that field and industrial also quite relevant. Construction is like definitely the best route for degrees and non-degree, honestly. Yeah. It's such a I mix. Guess. Yeah, and like I think we've mentioned before, if you find a good company that's willing to pay for your degree and then start without one, yeah, you know, get in there and then move ahead. Right. As long as you can use a shovel, you'll always have work in construction. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you heard it here. Lastly, technology. This is this is big, of course. I feel like half of our podcasts are going to all be about technology in some way or another. Yeah. So it's not surprising that about 107, 108,000 a year with a bachelor's degree in software engineering and uh, computer science, it is software developer, which, I mean, the name basically says what it is, right. but you know, it could be everything from code to kind of project managing or working with project managers to develop kind of programs and platforms for entire businesses. Is sort of something that like some of my family members have been a part of. You know, it's a, it's another field that needs a lot of math. So just a warning there. Right. That seems like a really challenging job. Yeah. Oh, I would. Uh, let's see. So following that, uh, this is kind of the world that I come from for a while ago, at least. We have the IT manager, uh, often a thankless job, I, I would say. <laughs> Everybody's upset about their IT all the time, but you get paid to have patience. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, but you also have uh, just below it, information technology business analyst, web developer. And uh, this one's probably lower than a lot of people on YouTube would want it to be. Consider, I think this is another in vogue position. Content creator. Ah, no, no, no. Ah. I don't know if that would technically, that might fall more into the marketing. You know, that's that's almost all over the place. Right. Um, but video game designer. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's helping out uh, what we what everybody probably presumes we do all the moments of our day when we're not doing this podcast. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I think that might be lower because that I've known somebody with that job title and it, it was simply just, hey, we made a video game. Will you play it and tell us like, you know what I mean? So you're not it's not really like a skill. It's more of like a it's kind of like a survey almost. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like a. so I don't know if that falls under this category or not, but it, I feel like it could. Yeah. Well, and I just know, too, I mean, a lot of times it seems like they have some of the worst working conditions. Yeah. You know, it's always so sad when you're like, oh, I love this game so much. I can't wait for the five updates they're going to download. Well, you don't think about that. Those people are being pressured to very quickly turn around. You know, it's not good enough to just have that game on launch. Now right. you have so many DLCs, downloadable content, so you can just like change it all the time. So I've heard that burnout for that is real, which to me means they should pay more. But right. I, I know right now. Right. But yeah. So now added a little more to you. 
uh, any of those uh, fields surprise you or make you, make you want to pivot? Uh, <laughs> Um, no, it honestly all sounds like pretty spot on. It sounds pretty spot on, honestly. Yeah, that was, uh, that was my thinking too. No, no real out there surprises, um, but just, you know, some good options if you're willing to go that extra mile for the degree and... Yeah, and I always think that, uh, where you work also is going to have a little bit to play with, you know, like, if you go to, like, the lowest job, you know, maybe, like, marketing, like I said earlier, like, Twitter, you're going to make a lot more money than, like, marketing for, like, maybe, like, a local Tennessee company. You know what I mean? Like, it's just how far you go with it and what company you're with. Uh, those things can change, but I think it's... Yeah. 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 I'm with you 100%. All right. Well, we are curious about, uh, does this impact your career choice? Are you already in one of these fields and the salary is just way wrong? Let us know in the comments, and as always, what do they need to do, John? Like and subscribe. That's right, uh, so you can follow us along here on Chatroom for every episode. Thank you very much.